Hi there folks, welcome back to my channel. For this video, I'm still in D Dundee. I'm actually in, in Brothy Ferry, which is actually a, a suburb of Dundee. And I was actually looking for something else, but I couldn't find it. But I came across something else that I thought could be of interest. It's called the Barnhill Rock Garden, which overlooks the Firth of Tay. And I thought I'd stop off and have a little wander, especially with the weather being as nice as it is today and go out and have a little wander around and show you what it's like. Again, I haven't been to this bit of Brody Ferry before, so it could be interesting. And again, it is sort of a kind of rock garden, botanic garden kind of set up. So show you what's happening, show you what it's like. And again, if you enjoy my videos, if you enjoy my channel, if you can click on the subscribe button, click on that notification bell, leave some likes, leave some comments, it's always really appreciated. And if you'd like to support the channel further, I will post a link to the channel's coffee.com page, the channel's Buy Me A Coffee page, and a TikTok account, so you can support the channel there as well. So I'm going to grab my things, head on out, and go for a wander. Well, that's actually take two, because that's actually the first time that I'm wearing my new wireless mic. So again, even though it's quite a warm, sunny day in September. It's actually a bit breezy, thought I thought it'd be quite a wise idea to try this out. And I did a, a bit of kit, a bit of camera wearing it, I haven't realised I had not turned the blighter on. So where I, what I've done just now is I've came across the road and I want to show you how close uh, the rock garden is to the sea itself. So we've got the first of tea over there. And you can just make out on the horizon, that's where it meets the North Sea. So, very coastal environment here. And where I'm going to is this area over here behind me. That's the rock garden I'm going to. So, I think it might be an idea to keep the mic on and try and reduce the wind noise. So I'm going to go back across the roads and go for a wee explore. Yeah, they have a lot of these wee areas with, with like benches that, so you can sit in amongst all the plants and relax, and also get a view across the water. I think the actual entrance is just up this way. Yeah, I've had to go and delete some more of my footage because my mic seems to keep turning itself off. I don't know if maybe. You charge it a bit more when I get home, but you might not need it as much while I'm up here because, again, it's a bit more sheltered up here because of the trees. So I think it's mostly down towards the, the shore front where the wind is a bit higher, a bit, bit, making things a bit noisier. Let's see how it goes. And it's quite nice to have like, some open areas over there, as well as some more of the shaded areas here as well. Just gives it that nice contrast. That's just the smell of the trees as well. Also, we've got deciduous trees, we've got fir trees. Looks like it's a, it's a eucalyptus over there. So, we've got quite a good selection of plants in here. Nice for a little walk. Have a tree trail as part of what they do here. So if you are interested in your trees, it might be something for you to come and do while you're while you're here in Dundee. And it's just a nice little place just to come for a wander, and especially when the weather's just this nice. Okay, it does get a bit cold, cold on us. Definitely get a bit chillier, especially at night. But still, so coming to a place like this. It gets you outside, gets you down by the coast, gets you exploring. That's the main thing. 
and maybe if you're interested in your creepy crawlies and your butterflies and your moths might be something to come and have a good explore of I think they are very much try to create habitat for insects and snails and flies and such things because again none of us would be here if it wasn't for them It was uh, they're all bored, and that's what I realised. I didn't have any for my kids, but that's where I and as we the rock garden itself. way that I came back along the Esplanade because I think there's uh, some ponds uh, which are on this side kind of closer to the road so it was a build to save them from, the, from, from down here and therefore I'll be able to, be able to show you what they're like but it's just such a nice bit just to come and visit and explore and some information about some of the nature around here about being the dune habitat so we're figuring out where Bossy Ferry is in relation to the, the centre that's the town centre there so that's uh, the T Road Bridge and that's the T Real Bridge uh, so you go past the Port of Dundee and Brothy Ferry is just there. So it's just as you're heading out to Monifeath, which is where I was a few weeks back. Yeah, and that's the uh, awesome crocuses out. Give them the last wee bit of colour before winter really starts to hit. You can really see the changes in the, the leaves I was even starting to notice the, the change at the end of August about a month ago I was actually quite early to see them changing the colour but it has been quite a, a wet summer and for those who are surprised yes we do actually get palm trees in Scotland they mostly seem to be on the west coast because that's where the Gulf Stream is but you do get some of, them, some of them up here in Fife as well Well that's me back at the car from a little wander around the Burnhill Rock Garden yeah, and I think it just goes to show that yeah, Dun Dundee and the surrounding area is just packed full of these wee hidden gems and most people probably if they go to Dundee don't even know this is here and it's just heading away and and brought a ferry and it's just such a peaceful place to come and spend some time in and explore and just be surrounded by all the trees and again you've got the Fourth of Tay kind of right in front of it as well and uh, you can do the, the garden and then go for a wander along the beach. So I've, I've definitely enjoyed my little visit here today. Hopefully you will all have enjoyed the video and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye.